Yo, hey guys. So now that our game function essentially works, um, like our game logic, and we can determine who won. So in this case, player O won. Um, in this video, we're going to add a little button here to say play again. And we're going to relay layer out the um, user interface here and put like a scoreboard at the top. Okay, so we can keep track of who, um, how many games the person won. Okay. And also, we're just going to fix up a few bugs here and there um, as we find them. So, um, by the way, the first one is, I believe if you retouch, yeah, so if you retap the same button, it looks like it's still going to, like it changes, right? So we don't want that to happen. So once there's already something in there, it can't be changed. So if I come down to our tapped function, um, it says, okay, if it's O's turn, then the index that you tap, let's put an O in there. Okay, I'm going to put an extra condition and say, if it's O's turn and there is nothing in the position that we're about to go in. Okay, so there's, no, there's um, oh sorry, I should say there's nothing. Right, so if it's O's turn and in that box there's blank, then let's put an O. Okay, so it has to meet both of these requirements. So I'm going to put that... Um, I should say else if and copy this, put that inside, and I'm just going to flip this around. So if it's not O's turn, so it's X's turn, so I'm going to put an exclamation mark there. And also the index I'm trying to, the box I'm trying to put in, um, make sure that there is nothing in there. Okay? And if there's nothing in there, then we'll put this X in. Okay? So let's just restart this, see if this works. Okay? So if I tap this and hopefully if I tap this again it's not going to do anything good so it's kind of locked in already right okay so to care of that bug now we want to um, move this grid view, uh, grid view builder to more in the middle okay so I'm gonna wrap this in a column okay and whoops at the top I'm gonna expand sorry I'm gonna add an expanded widget and let's just put a basic container in there. Okay, so this is where we're going to put our scoreboard. Um, for now, I'm just going to put a color just so we can see what's happening. Comma, grid view builder as well. Let's wrap this with a widget. Expanded. With the middle one, I'm going to give it a flex factor of, say, three. Okay, so I want the middle one to be a lot bigger and the top scoreboard to be a little bit slim. Okay, and let's just add one of these under here as well. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. Yep, so that layout looks um, pretty good. Obviously, I don't want this red to actually be there. That was just to show uh, what's actually happening on the screen. So yeah, we're going to put a scoreboard. So let's just put a little text widget for now and say um, score scoreboard okay now we can't see it it's probably because it's like completely up there so I'm gonna wrap this in a center widget and yep there it is scoreboard okay now let's just quickly adjust this style okay so let's make this a bit more visible so it's textile let's make this color white and also the font size, let's make it 30. Okay, much better. Now, when we display the scoreboard, um, I actually want to say, okay, player X and player O, and just have a number representing um, their score under it. Okay, so instead of having a text widget, what I'm going to do is, oh sorry, instead of having a text widget just right in the middle, I'm going to have to use a, let's use a row. Okay, so I'm going to say put a row here and let's put a text widget and say player x Oops. and let's say player o. Okay, cool. And let's make this main access alignment in the middle. Okay, so that basically just spreads it out into the middle.
Mm -hmm. um, I wonder what happens if I get rid of this center widget. If I just remove remove this widget, how that looks. Oh, it looks the same. Okay, so since we're going to have a couple extra text widgets, I'm going to say for styling, I'm just going to say my text style. And this can just be a variable. Okay, so I don't have to retype this a lot. Okay, so I'm going to say variable uh, variable my text style equals to um, text style. I'm going to say I want colors to be white and the font size to be 30. Right, so that's all we had before. Okay, so that without having to type this out all the time, I'm just going to say style my text style. Mm -hmm. Now. We want a column under each of these guys, right? So I'm going to say, write this in a column. And let's just put a blank number here for now. And let's do the same thing for this guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's completely up there. Let's bring this again back to the middle. So main access alignment center. Oh, that's only for one of them. Good. Okay. And just in the middle of these two columns, maybe we'll add a maybe we'll add some padding. Okay, so in this column, let's add a padding. Yep, let's make this 20. And the same as this guy. Um, padding. Make this 20. Mm -hmm. Let's make it 30 maybe, a bit more spaced out. Okay, cool, that's fine. Okay, so now that we've kind of got our scoreboard set up, let's make this a capital O, capital X. In, in the place where we display a number, obviously we don't want to hard code a number three in, we want to have an integer, right? So let's say for this one, I'm gonna say call it O score which we haven't built yet. And over here, let's call this one X score. Okay, so these are gonna just be numbers. So integers up here. So let's say integer um, O score, set it for nil and integer X score, also nil. Okay, so this is an integer, so we're gonna have to convert it to a string to display it. Okay, and there we go. Currently we have zero. Okay, so when do we want to add a score? We want to add a score when someone has won, right? So when we get to down here, then we show a win dialog, right? So let's just actually win one of these games. So like this, when we determine that O is a winner, um, we're gonna we're gonna pass through this winner, so we know who won. So we're just gonna add um, a tally onto it. So under this show dialog, right? So in this um, uh, in this method, we're going to add. Okay, so say if the winner is O, then do something. Um, else. You know, just for just for um, just for clarity, I'm just gonna say else if winner is x, then let's do something. Okay, so if the winner is o, then o score. Oh, not not o turn. O score is going to be we're gonna increment by one. Okay, so that's what this plus equals to sign means. By the way, it's the same thing as saying o score plus one. Okay, so you can do that, but this is just a shorthand version of it. Okay, so same thing down here, x score plus one. Okay, so we're going to increment by one every time someone wins. Okay, and also the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add a um, button here so that we can play again. So currently if I just tap outside, it just goes back to, you know, the current board. Right, but every time someone wins, we want to clear the board and restart, right? So 
let's say uh, we're going to have a method called clear board. Okay. And for the clear board, we're only going to trigger it once someone won. Right. So clear board. Um, actually, we didn't add a button here yet, did we? So let's come back to our alert dialog. And under this, if we go to actions, here we can add a button. So I'm just going to add a flat button. And when this is pressed, that's when we're going to trigger the clear board. Okay. And what this button is uh, intended to do, let's see. Does this have a text? No, it's just got a child. So let's put a child text and say, uh, what are we saying? So play again. Okay, and once they hit play again, we're going to clear the board. Um, and there was one other thing I needed to do. I think it's up in show dialog where, yep, there's this barrier dismissible. And I'm going to set this to false. So what this property is, is when the alert dialog shows up, I'm going to get rid of this. When the alert dialog shows up, you know how I can top tap outside anywhere on the screen to get rid of the alert dialog this is just telling us you can't do that okay so let's just get O to win right cool there's our play button and because I made this because I made this um, barrier dismissible false I can't click outside to get out of it right um, that's just a preference thing for you but I'm just gonna set it like that so that the player has to play has to click this button okay Cool. So now when I click this button, I need this uh, alert dialog to essentially go away, right? So um, on our pressed function, let's say, okay, and here we're going to do a couple things. We're going to, need to clear the board, of course, um, and also we're going to say navigator. But um, of context and we're just going to pop okay so what that's going to do is that's just going to get rid of this um, barrier okay so let's just save this see if that works so dun, 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 and play again and it goes away cool okay sweet so everything's done we even got the player O having the extra score there and the last thing to do before we wrap up this video is to clear the board Okay, so in each of these nine boxes, we just want to put a blank space in them. Okay, so you can do that manually nine times, or we can use a for loop. Okay, which is going to uh, cycle through. Okay, so say starting from integer of zero, and as long as it's less than nine, since we have a total of nine boxes, and we're going to increment by one. Okay, and we have display xo i, right? So it's going to go through from zero to eight, or all, all nine of them, and we just want to set it to be nothing. Okay, and I think I think that should be it. Let's just give this a test one last time. Okay, so let's let o win. Yay, winner is o. Can't tap outside. We have to play again, and it didn't trigger the didn't trigger the clear board. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's because I didn't set the state. Ah, I always forget that. So set state. So if I so I think I explained it a few videos ago, but if you don't do the set state, it's going to change these values, but it's not going to show it. Okay, so the set state just means let's rebuild. Let's rebuild our build function here. Okay, that's within this state. Okay, so one last try. Let's let O win. Winner is O. Play again. Cool, and then O gets one. Let's make X win this time. And the winner is X. And it's just one versus one. Good. And also just the way this game logic is, is set up, the way we set it up, um, the person that won, oh sorry, the person that lost will be going first, right? So in the game of tic-tac-toe, going first is 
probably a bit of a more advantage than going second. So if you lose, um, it's going to be the other. Per it's going to be their turn in the next game. Okay, so in the next video, let's just focus on um, cleaning up the UI and changing these fonts, making it look a little more polished. Okay, but essentially that's the actual game there itself. Okay, if you guys want to just change the looks of it, then obviously you guys are free to, to, go, to go ahead and do that. But yeah, in the next couple of videos, I'll just clean this up a little. Sweet. Thanks, I'll catch you guys in the next one.